Astro Warrior is an incredibly early shmup, developed by Sega and released for the Master System back in 1986. The game acts as a bridge of sorts between single-screen arcade shooters of the early 80s and the mature shmups of the late 80s. Your ship starts off moving slow with a single shot. The first stage introduces all the basic mechanics. Destroying enemies scores points, though the game doesn't have a HUD showing you your points during gameplay. Shooting at the boxes will earn upgrades that float from the top of the screen. There are much needed speed upgrades, upgrades to your main fire, along with an alternate laser weapon. Finally, there are a couple of options that will mirror your movement and match your firepower. With a little luck and some practice, you can be fully powered up in time for the boss at the end of the first stage. After that, you're off to stage two. The color palette changes a little bit, and some new enemies are introduced, but it's mostly more of the same. Some of the new enemies are a bit tougher, but if you've managed to stay alive and keep all your power-ups, it shouldn't be too difficult. The third stage again has a color palette swap, and again new enemies are introduced that are even harder than the last. After you beat the boss of this stage, the game loops back to the beginning and you get to do it all over again. Everything is far more challenging on the second loop as most things now shoot at you, giving you even more things to dodge. It's all a lot of fun, except for one huge flaw. When you die, you lose everything. And I mean everything. The biggest loss are the speed power-ups. Certain sections of the game are basically impossible at the default speed, and you will quickly lose your remaining lives. You're better off just hitting reset and starting over. It's a pretty big flaw, but not a deal breaker. I enjoyed working my way through the three levels, memorizing enemy placement and bullet patterns, the hallmarks of a good shmup. Graphically, Astro Warrior is a bit on the basic side. Your ship isn't terribly interesting, and some of the enemies are just swirling balls of color. On the plus side, the frame rate remains high, and there is minimal flickering. I also like how the stars in the background twinkle. It's a nice touch, and gives the game a great 80s feel. Somewhat surprisingly, the music is actually really good. Each of the three stages has its own track. They are of decent length, and sound pretty great. A lot of these really early Master System games seem to skimp out on the music, but not Astro Warrior. In addition to the music, there are plenty of sound effects. Your weapon has a solid firing sound, and everything has a satisfying exploding sound when you hit them. Between the stages, there is a whooshing sound, as if you are hitting warp speed. The one standout feature for Astro Warrior, which is fairly forward-thinking for its time, is the enemy fire. It's not simply a single pixel coming at you, it's a giant yellow colored sprite. Nothing in the level is yellow, so enemy firing patterns contrast nicely. It's really good game design, especially for 1986. I'm not going to say Astro Warrior is a great game, or even a great shmup, it's neither of those things. Astro Warrior is a solid little arcade style shooter with some contemporary shmup elements mixed in. It's not deep, it's not long, it's not always pretty, but it sounds great and you'll have a lot of fun playing through the three levels. Three out of five. <laughs>